hello and welcome everyone so in this video let's try to uh, baseline our project with the typescript support so what all things we need so currently i have this build script tsc right what it will do is it will look at your src and it will try to convert that typescript code into es5 okay but where that instruction will come from that instruction will come from the ts config so first we have to create a ts config file so that whenever you run the this tsc command typescript compiler command it should be able to compile it okay so we can just create a ts config file here i mean these the all these things comes with the baseline setup i'm talking here because you might get a good understanding what all things we are doing here so in ts config we are we will be talking about all different parameters which we are passing so in this ts config these are the compiler options compiler options means typescript compiler when it compiles this typescript code it will take care of all these things skip library check source map okay i wanted to generate a source map output directory will be the dist uh, and the common the modules which for the output code will be the common js so i'm going to get a es5 code which will be compiled by javascript sorry not js target is es6 and these are the image de decorators options so i mean for using the type rm library we have to enable these two parameters so all the decorators all the decorations all the typings which are available in the in those libraries will be emitted for our uses okay then what we need to include in the build all the code which is written in the lib and src i mean code is all code is already in the src and they exclude node modules and the type roots are defined here all the the root typings about node js express are declared here so this is the ts config.json and we can also add a ts lint.json that is nothing but it will take care of the linting of our stuff maybe in future we have to use uh, the eslint only as jslint is getting deprecated so all these are actually rules which will enforce us to use the particular styles only so we have already installed these all the modules tslint recommended tslint consistent tslint clean code these modules will help us to write uh, or follow all the conventions and rules created for writing a typescript code with the node.js okay now next thing we will do is if i just do npm run build what it will do it will look at your ts config file okay yes i have and it already knows that uh, what folder output folder we need to create so if i create deleted dist folder and if i create again then we will be getting a dist folder and in the dist folder you can see the common js output uh, i will just talk about app.js so this is the output code we are getting and it's supporting the common js module style so you can see it is exporting all these things and if you talk about index.js a lot of code it is being generated right from typescript and es6 code it is compiling it to es5 so this is how we used to write our express code in without typescript if you just remember require app require logger and then uh, logger and then server http.create server server.on it just using the required syntax because it is converting into the common js way of styling okay so this is how we got now if i if i wanted to start the server either what i can do is if you just wanted to run it with the node node only so node dist and you can just pass index dot js right so what it will do is it will start your server right but is this the right way to do this because we have to compile the code we have to create uh, we have to get the dist folder and then we are compiling what about when we are doing the actual development where we will be doing a code change regularly frequently and it is getting built and then it will be getting compiled so node mode is in the rescue i mean you can just run the node mode and you can keep watching this dist folder instead of doing that can we watch this src folder for all the typescript changes we are making and we can do that so for that you can just install the node mode i hope most of you already have used this module you can add it in the dev dependencies okay node mode 
So what NodeMon will do is you have to include a NodeMon.json file. What NodeMon.json file will do is it will keep checking or it will keep doing a watch on all the files which you are working on. So NodeMon. So I will be watching SRC folder having extension TS. I will be ignoring all the test files and I will be just executing this. So TS node is a module which is helping us to just quickly write or quickly compile the TypeScript code on the fly. Okay. So TS node module we already have in our package.json. Now what we just need to do is go to our package.json and define all these definitions. So to now run it like uh, I can have another build step just using node mode. You can say start and I can just pass node mode. So when you just pass it like this, it will look for node mode or JSON. Right, it is now looking at so what command it is executing ts node src index.ts. So now whenever you are changing any types of code, so it keeps changing, right? So this is how it works, and this is what we need. It will be helping us to run the code on the fly. We don't need to deal with any dist folder. Okay, but when we actually moving it to the production, what we do is we just create a build and then we expose the dist folder. Okay. Or there are other frameworks available right now like NiceJS and all which will do on the fly you don't need to deal with the dist folder you can just do npm run start and uh, that is MVC kind of angular modular style so that will cover in the separate playlist but I hope now we are clear on how we are setting up this nodemon.json tsconfig.json okay and tslint is just for checking the linting errors if you are doing any okay and package.json here we have a lot of modules available. So I will just go one by one exuse decrypt we might use in the future. Class validators to do the data validations. Express and then we have reflect metadata. This is the package which is needed by type ORM. And this Winston is for logging module, TSLint Sonart for enabling the TSLint rules. And I'm using the TypeScript version 3.8.3. And these all initial are type type definitions for validator, node, Morgan, Mocha and all. And these all are dev dependencies to run the test cases. Okay. You can use a TS node dev also. What it will do is so TS node dev and TS node. So these both are important package. We will, we will check in the next project. And we can also write the test cases and check the coverage. So that's why we are using all these modules. Sci HTTP, no, Istanbul, NYC, super test. All these modules are helping us to run the test cases. If we have any integration test cases and unit test cases, then this template can help you. Okay, I see you in the next video.